here we have the pine needles mask. It's basically the inverse of a stencil and I'll get going here and, and show you a, a quick demo of how to use it. So here I've just got a piece of, this is mixed media paper so it's a little bit sturdier than regular sketchbook paper. And over here you can see I have already put out some paints. This is sap green, the darker color, and then just some titanium white. And what I'll do is use one of these little sponges. These are makeup sponges that I got from the uh, pharmacy. And I'm first going to show you how this mask will look when you use it on white paper. So I'm going to take a little bit of the sap green and tap out some of the extra over here on this palette paper. And then I'm just holding down the mask and we'll get going. So just tapping, tapping, and what I like to do with this sort of organic pattern mask here is to use it as a background layering element. So it's not going to be the focal point of a design once I use it on a piece of artwork. It will most likely be used for an underpainting, and I'll show you an example of what I mean as we go through this demo. So let me just show you here. You can see how nicely the, the darker green has this really great contrast with the white paper. And now what I'll do is show you how you can use it with layers and you know use different colors. Here's the example that I just uh, was showing you how you can use the mask on white paper to get this nice contrast with a darker color and then the pine needles will be white. They'll be the color of the paper. But let's say you want that pine needle pattern to be a dark green. You basically want it to be the opposite of this. What you'll do is you first paint your substrate. In this case, I'm, I'm still using this mixed media paper. You're going to paint it whatever color you want the pine needles to be. So I've painted this a nice dark green. It's sap green hue. And I'm going to add lighter color. I'm going to do a, a lighter green. So I'm just mixing these two together. I'm mixing a little bit of the green with white. Okay, so now I have a lighter color here and I will use it on top of the painted paper. And then you'll see that the pine needles will be the darker green. And I'm using green just because I feel like using green today, but you know, use whatever colors you like. And what this will create is this really lovely, delicate pattern, almost like the pattern of a forest floor here where I live in New England, we have a lot of white pine trees. I have white pine trees in my backyard. And that's actually where I um, got the inspiration for doing this mask design from, from the pine, white pine trees in my backyard. Okay, so let's see how this looks. I'm gonna lift up the stencil. And, and look at this, this is just really lovely. I, I'm really liking how you can see the brush strokes behind the darker green brush strokes behind the um, pattern of these pine needles and it creates a beautiful background pattern. Like I said, something like what you would see on the forest floor around New England. I know that there are pine trees all over the United States, so it's, it's, a, it's a lovely pattern to use for your um, botanical collage paper and yeah, have fun with it. And I, I hope you like it. So this is the pine needles mask.